Hello everyone, welcome back and this week we are uh, helping Cindy Vine sort out the levels and the line of her uh, foundations for her new barn. So with some help from uh, Ewan from Frankie Off Grid, uh, we put the post in and then me and Andrea have uh, put the roof on our new carport. And we've also dug the foundations for our new barn as well. And stick around at the end, we've got a few shots of uh, a lot of the things that are fruiting on the farm at the moment. So we're here at Cindy's with Miguel, we're cutting up some steaks. Uh, I'm going to try and set out the foundations with some concrete levels and some a better line. I've got my fancy, fancy pants um, laser level here. So I'm going to set this up on a tripod and we're going to use a a staff and a, and a receiver level yeah to put some levels around to get and then we can start thinking about when to do concrete and things oh, sorry, oh, sorry. so as you can see I've got the laser level set up here which which is casting a, a beam at this level so what we need to do is catch that beam oh hang on that's wrong with this Yeah, so now we know I need to cut the bottom, cut a piece of this staff off. Just flat on the bottom. So we know that works. Oops. Yeah, so what we need to do is find the deepest point of the trench and we'll call that ground zero and then everywhere above that we need to work in 200 mil uh, increments because a block is 200 mil so for our foundations need to be level we can have steps at 200 mil but no not 150 or anything in between so we need to go and find the deepest part of the excavation oh. Point there is the deepest. That's the deepest point. Okay, so we have a difference of. So we have a difference of there to there to make up in the foundations. Hopefully. It's not far off 400 mil, it's about 500 mil. So we should be able to um, work our way along with the staff, driving pegs into concrete level, and then where it needs to step up, where the concrete gets too thin, we'll put a block across and step it up 200 mil, and then take it from there. So we've ascertained this is the lowest point, so I'll put a peg in here. We have 200 millimeters, eight inches thick of concrete here. and. Uh, Miguel is in the process of digging out down to concrete level. This block, the top of that block, this is where we have a step, but the top of this block is the same as, as level as this. So we may get away if Miguel can dig out enough, and just because this is down to granite, so we may just fill in the top of that block to there and have a bit thinner concrete, but still on top of granite is not too bad. <coughs> then we'll do the same until it gets too thin. I'm saying like for foundations for this barn, the walls aren't terribly high. I'll say 100 mil. When it gets to 100 mil, we'll put a step in, yeah, and then raise the level of the concrete. So on and so forth. Okay, so while Miguel digs out the final bit here, I'll just do a quick recap for you. So, this is the deepest part of the trench, as we said earlier. Hang on a sec. So this is the deepest part of the trench. So I've set a block in, so the concrete level is the top of that block, yeah? Uh, so we concrete up to that either side, and then the, just keep the top of the concrete level. So along the trench here now, we've got, still got here, the top of that peg, top of concrete level. Um, it's about 180 mil there. 
here maybe 120 is getting thinner but from here on it's solid granite as you can see here we're, on, we're basically on top of granite so that's good and then we come up here to the bottom of this block then we step up 200 mil eight inches and then the rest of the concrete is the top of this block so we go from the top of that block along here this again is on solid granite <clears throat> and we get to the bottom of this block with our concrete I might try and dig a little bit more out of this last section if I can with a pick and then we raise up step up again 200 mil and then concrete to there and then the rest of this is to these posts which I've knocked in the ground so all the tops of the posts or the tops or bottoms of the concrete blocks as you can see we've got a big chunk of chunk of granite here in the way and Miguel's widening it because <laughs> this end of the trench is four meters six hundred this end is four meters so we've got a big wide trench here and we've widened it there the other way so if we gain 300 mil each end we can lose a bit off that end so basically we can make it square it off quite easily so there we go trench ready for concrete now we've got to pray for a cool day. I think it's cool next week, so we should be okay. Okay, so here we go again with this baby. Uh, this one's going to get a lot of work this week. Um, it's a, it's a just um, oscillating. What's well, a laser level, basically? I'll get the laser right on there. Look at that. So this cast a uh, flat line all the way. All the way for about 100 meters. But we're not going that far away. And I have a receiver which is in our little box over here which when I switch on uh, this basically finds that line between these two lines here as you can see and, and makes an audible noise for me to know where the sign is so I'll be using that to put four marks on these posts which gives me a level line all the way around and I can measure up from and make sure that when I put the roof on it slopes slightly to the front uh, and I'm just going to take over the filming. It might be a bit wobbly now. <laughs> so. so the reason the, I want the roof sloping slightly to the front is that we, here we have quite a lot of wind. And the wind comes from the mountain up there, which is beautiful. a thousand metres higher than us. Is it? Yeah, about that. So it's quite high up there. And uh, we do get a lot of wind from the colder mountain, the Serra d'Estrella on the other side. So some days when the ground's warming up, we get a, a fair bit of wind here. What I don't want is that wind coming underneath this structure and pushing, trying to push the roof off. So I'm going to put the roof sloping downwards. So the wind is pushing the roof down. That's the theory. It worked last time, so here we go. So what I'm going to do now is switch this on. And then I'll just demonstrate here quickly as I go up. Where's the line? Is it eye level? What's down here? Hang on. So I want to get a solid tone. That's when that laser line is in the centre there. So I'll put a mark at the bottom, it's easier to do on all four of these posts. Okay. I don't know where the height is now. Oh, it's down here somewhere. Right. You see the red light sign saying down. Let's see if I can see if I can actually and see this. Sorry, I hope you might be able to see this. Turn the volume down. Turn the volume off. I'll turn the volume off. Yeah. Just so I can. I'll turn the beeper off just so I can uh, demonstrate to you. So at the moment, and just put her arm in the way. <laughs> at the moment, the green light is saying I need to go up. So there, oh, there so if I go light. up higher, the red light says I need to go down. So when the green light shows in the center there, that's exactly in line with that laser. Yeah, so I'll mark the bottom of this with a little dot like that. And then I'll do the same on every post.
so here uh, our footage got a bit corrupted um, but basically what I'm doing is measuring from the marks up to the top an equal distance on the front and a bit longer distance on the back so that the two back poles are higher than the front poles so we get a slope from the back to the front easy as that uh, I've just made it six inch difference or 150 mil difference from, from back to front um, yeah I don't know how we lost the footage but we did so you have to be careful here in Portugal when you're digging holes and moving rocks especially so you get little suckers like this what are you doing pal? trying to hide there he is locally known as Le Crow. No, 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 don't go that way, you'll fall in the hole. Come on. Come on, let me come. Let me come. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. What are you doing? Go that way. Well, stay on that stick. Stay on that stick? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's like trying to hurt a kitten. Come on. Come on. Stay on the stick. Grab the stick. No, grab your sticky. Oh. What do I do? Pick it up by hand. Hope you guys can catch this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, maybe that'll work. Maybe. No. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Go on that. There we go. There we go. Take a little trip. Little trip back up there. Oh, over here. Go in there somewhere. I'll leave you on that for a minute.
So there we go, complete. Six meters by five meters. Uh, I do still have to put some bigger bolts through here just in case. And I may put a couple of props from the bank up to each corner there and there. So yeah, all galvanized. Looking very nice indeed. And um, I'll show you what it looks like from above. Yeah, really pleased. Essential shade for these guys. So there we are from above. Not much higher than this paddock here actually. And uh, has the added bonus of all the rubbish that we've um, been saving up to build this thing is now being used. And of course it was tidying the whole everything up. So that's really good. So before the Renault 4 goes back in, uh, I'm just click leveling up the ground here shoveling it in we need the soil for the raised bed anyway uh, yeah so just to make it a bit more level a bit more tidy so we've um, just put your hand on that for a size comparison Ange <laughs> we've been uh, had, had a very generous gift uh, of a few pumpkins to feed the pigs with I'm gonna give some to Cindy as well uh, so thanks Nico brilliant so here we are, uh, carport up as you just saw, uh, I've re-set this line up, so today I have help from Ewan from Frankie Off Grid and uh, we're going to dig the foundations out, put them into the tractor so I can fill the raised beds again, but uh, yeah we're going to try and dig the foundations out today and get this all ready for concrete and then, uh, then we can start the block work. And I just found another one. Where? Oh, there. They get a bit feisty at this age. Little youngsters. Right, we don't really want you there, so. <laughs> Locally known as La Crow. Well, it's not that young, that one. Yeah, he didn't like me moving the... Uh... No. <laughs> Got a bit of an epic. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen when you're digging down foundations. Always know where your stopcock is or your mains water off. Excellent. How annoying is this? <laughs> yeah. Huh? So 
hi, hi, typical is that? <laughs> <laughs> We've dug all this out, I'm just levelling, uh, putting pins in for level and I've just driven this pin right through our main border pipe. <laughs> the last pin as well. Hey ho, oh. so clear that out, we'll um, get the water out and do a repair. But, just thinking, could be a, could be a Oh, an outlet. Ah. Mains water in the uh, barn. When life gives you lemons. Exactly, because I've got a T joint and I've got. Yeah. So, yeah, because I haven't got a straight joiner, as I still haven't got the straight joiner for the for the repair I did up there, but I've got a T. Okay. So, you put a T on with an end and a blank and a on the end. Yeah. We'll do that. May as well, like you say, make the most of it whilst it's. Right, have you got a little. Right, I'll go. So what we're going to do is leave that in the pipe for a minute so we can see the damage we've done. Ewan's going to dig this out with a trowel and expose the whole pipe. Then I'll be putting a T on the joint like that and a little bit of pipe and we'll put a, we'll put a, a tap on it here somewhere. So then we can have water inside the barn, which is always handy. <laughs> Why right, not? So that channel? Yep. Into the bucket? Oh, anyway. Yep. Should be nice and soft anyway. Yeah. String line for you. Pipe. Yeah, this is a problem, see one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't glance off it because it's a very sharp point on the bottom of that. Yeah. And that actual point that went right in the centre of the pipe. Wow. So there we go. Lesson learned. So here's our T-joint. I'll take the top off as well. So in here you have um, like a locator. It keeps the rubber in place then you have a rubber. So what happens when you push a pipe in? Oh yeah, it's a um, fairy liquid. When you push your pipe in, you get a seal around the outside of the pipe against this, yeah? So it's always good to have a good clean pipe with no scratches. You've got a scratch in the outside of your pipe, um, which correlates where the rubber is, yeah? You might get a leak past that, but very rarely happens. So we've got a T, and we've got a magical tool here. It's called a pipe separation tool. There she is. A knife! <laughs> Nice. That's not a knife. <laughs> also, a very sharp knife. So what we need to do is cut. If you see inside here, I don't know if you can see inside, but at this point here, so that far in, yeah, there's a stop for the pipe to butt up to, which is about there and there, so it's equal to the size of this. So what we need to do is make a gap in this now. That size, yeah? So I'll cut this end off half, a little bit less on this one. Give us some room here. We'll need to make that other end up there, so we'll need to cut that there. That's a really bad cut. <laughs> Even worse now. <coughs> so, a little bit of lubrication. It means we'll have a little bit of soapy water for a while. <laughs> So somehow we've got to get that on there. This is going to be tricky. But we can but try. We can get this end on here. Oh, hang on. You need to put all your bits on first. <laughs> yeah, you don't forget to put these bits on first. Uh, I've had to dig the pipe back a bit because we need a bit of flexibility 
because um, we're very close. I haven't got, you know, I'm trying to say, I need more, a bit of flexibility so I can bend this pipe a bit to get it in the end of the, the other one, yeah? So we'll have a go at that now. And there we go. Easy. So you can push, this is a gripper which grips around the pipe and then this screws up and pulls that in, all of it in tight. I've got so many glamorous assistants today, it's amazing. <laughs> We're all your Debbie McGee's today. I'm not very glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in sweat and soil. Don't need to over tighten these, but they want to be not leaking tight. <laughs> because basically it's the rubber seal that makes the, makes does the seal, not how tight it is, but it needs to pull it in tight so it doesn't, so the pipe doesn't just pull out. Okay, so cone on. And then you push this inside the rubber there. So, oh, take it out again. Put the cone on the right way, right? <laughs> there we go. Just typical Max to spoil the shot, eh? <laughs> Max! But he feels left out. Yeah. Here goes. So if I turn it the right way. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Good. Okay, so what I've done is set the top of this, which is slightly above ground level, so the concrete will be higher than ground here, but this is the lowest point where we just broke the pipe. So if you hear the constant beep. So at this highest point here, that's the concrete's going to be quite thick, yeah. But the ground's soft, so that that's fine, no problems with that. So what I'll do now is go around the rest of the pins I've knocked in and put some tape on them, yeah. So the top of the tape will be the top of concrete level. There. So top of tape, top of concrete. That's level with that over there. So that's it all repaired and I've um, we've done the levels all the way around now. So I'm ready for concrete. And thank you Ewan, that's brilliant. Thank no you. No worries at all. And I'll come and do a day for you tomorrow. Sounds good. Ideal. <laughs> so yeah. Super, and I've uh, put sand around the pipe. Look, it should have been done originally. Just saying. So I'm here with the new look. Of, I think, you know, the new trend started by Ange. Yeah, shorts and, oh, shit. Shorts, shorts and wellies. Always a good look for the summer. So I've just come down to feed the pigs and, um, yeah, discovered they're trying to flood the whole field, so they're having water problems as well. Uh, what's happened is where they've got their wallow here, it's got a bit out of control, and I think they've blocked the outfall pipe, so I'm gonna dig it out. So Wilbur's come to do a final inspection on my work. We've got it running again now. Uh, what I do need, I've got two more pipes to go in here. I just haven't had time to fit them yet. And that's gonna be super windy. There we go. It's either not pleased or it's passed the test. Not sure. Right, mate, does that meet your approval? Does that meet your approval? Right? Does it? It does. Okay. I'm glad of that. Okay, everyone, that's all we have time for this week. Um, carport's done. Uh, foundations dug and concrete in soon in the next video possibly
probably Hopefully. actually yeah and the new water pipe and tap <laughs> <laughs> yeah that'll be going on as well so yeah. um thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing thanks for ringing, ringing that, that little, little notification, notification bell, bell. Ding, ding. and we'll see you in the, in the next one bye, bye. So here goes this is our first uh corsada boy oops oh none of them that's fine there we go our first corsada boy tomato It's that time of year again. Oh.
have to see my golden oriole. See me, got shy. 